The Birmingham Redevelopment Programme is all about revamping the station, giving it a new life um, and bringing it into the 21st century. The station in its current guise is uh, an unwelcoming, dark, decrepit place. My mother used to bring me here and, and it's as I remember it when I was young. I don't know, it seems run down, just don't make me feel like I'm glad to be in Birmingham. I don't know exactly how, how old it is, but you know, it, it just really needs an update. The concourse as it is at the moment um, does pose problems day to day. It's not the easiest station to manoeuvre around. There's no access uh, via escalators on platform 1 and 12 whatsoever. And that can cause problems when people are coming through with cases. Like if I had big bags and things like today, I found it quite difficult to walk up the stairs, especially with all the commuters coming from the London train. Vertical circulation, as we call it, is a massive part of the project. Uh, we're increasing the number of um, lifts and escalators by almost 500%. So with the new station, having a lift from the concourse to every platform, um, it's going to be of a massive benefit to us. Uh, what's been done really well so far is integrating all of the construction works across the whole of the station at platform and retail level whilst the station is still in operation. The public weren't to know but when they were um, jumping on the 1231 to Manchester we were lifting 10 ton um, elements of concrete through the air directly above them. But I think the balance has been struck very well between the construction team, the funding team and the client team Network Rail so that all stakeholders' needs are catered for whilst we're doing a very complex construction. To be fair to Network Rail, I think the management of the change has been so good that there's no disruption, just the trains have still run to time. On the 28th of April, we're going to transition the Phase 1 construction site into a live operating station overnight. The new concourse will be a cleaner and more efficient experience for customers. And then that will hopefully rub off on the passengers and it will give them more of an enjoyable experience coming through the station. And I also think that obviously with a modern station being designed in mind, I think the positioning of the screens and the public information will be a lot, lot better. Because you've also got the new John Lewis store being built as well, which will incorporate the Grand Central Shopping Centre. It's the first time ever that we've got such a, a key anchor tenant um, actually resident on the station. Uh, that will be a, a very, very interesting dynamic to see how many um, people actually uh, come to the station just to use the shops. It's going to be somewhere where people will come to meet up, to eat, to shop. It's going to be a thousand times better than what it is now. It's extremely important for Birmingham to have a facility like this in the 21st century that matches anything throughout the UK. It's like any great city, St Pancras is London, Manchester Piccadilly is Manchester, Leeds Central is Leeds. When you go to a city, the vast majority of the travelling public using public transport go in on trains. For the station team, for the passengers and for Birmingham, I think it's somewhere that we can call our own, somewhere we can be proud of, something, somewhere we can be happy to work. I feel like it's a historic moment for Birmingham. It will represent Birmingham much better and in a better light. I mean, from all the pictures that I've seen around the station, it does look like it's going to be quite good. It's taking shape outside on New Street side of the building, but uh, is it, I'm looking forward to it. 99% of people that you ask about the project want the project to actually deliver that for them. Uh, and so that they can all enjoy it and um, we'll, we'll give the whole project team such a buzz. And everybody's excited about what we managed to achieve in phase one. It looks good, it feels good, so when it's open to the public I'm sure the reaction will be extremely positive. I think it's a, definitely a step in the right direction and I think that the, the Birmingham public are very excited about it. Yes, I'm very excited, it's about time. <laughs>